Inuit community on the coast that's further out the inlet from Goose Bay, about 120 air kilometers. Um, and the population where I grew up and all my relatives who still live there, friends and family, still depend on the, the, the fish, the migratory salmon, the trout, uh, smelts, uh, shellfish, migrating birds, like the geese and the ducks that, was, that my friends just talked about. I, I'm seeing the destruction, the blatant and brazen destruction of my food source. Today, just today, because it's spring hunting time and the seals, the, the seal, the spring seal hunt is on. And I'm not talking about an industrial seal hunt. I'm talking about subsistence seal hunting for food. Today, my nephew is out on the ice today to bring me back a meal of seal meat because it's the, what we do, what we've done for hundreds of years. In the spring, we go up on that bay or out on the bay from here and we hunt the seals and we come back and we cut it up and we fry it and we eat it. The, and the seal next to human in this area is the highest animal in the food chain. Right now our government, our provincial government is telling me and telling us here in this group and telling Labrador and telling Inuit people and Aboriginal people, Indigenous people here in this land that they, they will not clear that reservoir. They will not take the, the soil and the, and the vegetation out of that uh, because it, originally because they said it was too much money, it would cost too much. Although they've already gone uh, about $8 billion over budget, they can't take the, the, the topsoil off to prevent that development and accumulation of methylmercury, which is like beyond comprehension to me and so many other people, why they would neglect to do that, why they would choose not to do that. I don't, I don't, don't think so much of it as neglect. I think it's outright decision-making around power and greed, like, like Beatrice talked about. It's not, it's not that they don't know, it's that they don't care. So all we can say, all we can do is protest at the gate. And that's what we were doing. We were very uh, uh, peacefully protesting to say, with our signs and banners and Labrador flags, to say, we, we want you to clear the reservoir. Please just tell us that you'll clear the reservoir or do something to mitigate this problem. Never done. Ignored completely by the Premier. Ignored completely by our MHAs. Ignored completely by Aboriginal governments. Yeah. This dam is wrong. This dam is environmentally unsound. This is not a green project. This is devastating our culture. This is devastating our land. This is devastating my food chain. And I, I want to absolutely get that message out to you. Please tell three people when you leave there today. When you leave that place today, go and tell three people. And they hopefully will tell three more people. Because what you're buying in the power coming down into the United States is, is what I find equivalent to the blood diamonds in Africa. So that's all I have to say. Thank you for listening. Yeah.